What's up, Rock the Boat Nation? It's your boy Tang back again one more time. Coming at you with week five action as the San Diego Chargers head over to the Superdome to face the New Orleans Saints, who are now 0-4. Will we be able to make them 0-5, or will we end up losing to them? Oh, let's just start the show and find out. So what's new on Rock the Bolt? Well, I have two articles I want to talk about which has to do with the New Orleans Saints. One is going to be sizing up the competition and the other one around the grid. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're facing the New Orleans Saints who are now 0-4. Offensively, they are still a juggernaut. Defensively, not so much. In sizing up the competition in New Orleans Saints, we break it down everything you need to know about the Saints and why they haven't been doing as good. And the biggest problem is that they have no pressure on the quarterback on the opposing team. Other than that, the offense for them is doing well. I mean, uh, I think Lance is, is hurting right now. And um, they still got Colston. They got our own specially made Darren Sproles from the San Diego Chargers. Uh, he's still a threat down there in the short yardage for, uh, for passing. Um, what else? What else? Come on, it's Drew Brees, guys. It's Drew Brees. I wouldn't count them out for anything. And plus, I mean, San, uh, the San Diego, uh, the New Orleans Saints are wounded right now. 0-4 hasn't been like that in, I don't know, like 10 years, maybe even more. Uh, Drew Brees, they're going to be looking, Drew, Drew Brees and company are going to be looking for a win. Uh, Peyton's going to be back and be able to watch the game. He's not going to be down there coaching, though. He's still suspended. Um, but I really expect Saints to come out swinging. They need to get this win. They're a wounded animal. They are hungry. What are, what is San Diego going to be able to do to stop it? So sizing up the competition, we need to worry about Drew Brees and containing him. Defensively, we got to be able to stop. We got to be able to keep going. We have, we cannot let their defense stop us. They don't have a good front. They they don't get no pressure on the quarterback though. So. I guarantee you, though, this week will be different. They, they they know Rivers. They know he throws interceptions. So they're going to try to exploit that as much with our weak offensive line as well. And that was sizing up, comp, sizing up the competition. And that was written by Enrique. So thanks for that, man. It was a great article. And it's good to get a nice rundown of the Saints. And pretty much the next article I kind of spoke about is around the grid. Saints marching for a win. Like I said earlier, they are hungry. They are wounded and they're hungry. They want to get this win. They don't want to be 0-5. That's crazy talk for the Saints who are so good. You know, very good. Offensively, they're the best. But defensively, eh. You know, but we're going to go down there. We got to show up for the game. We had to stop Drew Brees. We had to make him go three and out. That's basically the formula. If you want to stop the Saints, stop the offense. Defense, we ain't got to worry too much about. They ain't doing too much over there. We got to stop Darren Sproles. We got to stop Colston. We got to keep Mark Ingram contained. We can't let him run up and down us. Hopefully our run defense holds up against that. But we shall see. You know, this is our this is our second test. We got the New Orleans Saints because we, we, we failed miserably for the Atlanta Falcons. We were in the same division. So guess what? Expect to see that same intensity come out of the Saints. Or even more, in my opinion. So... They're gonna. They're looking for a win. They're. 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 They're looking. San Diego Chargers had to be up for the challenge. Don't look back. Be Road Warriors. We beat the mess out of the Kansas, Kansas City last week. Great win. A few things we still need to fix though, as always. But we won. That's what's new on Rock the Bolt. All right, and now it's time for our weekly picks, where I pick the team or the game to look at. That's gonna be really good, and the game that's not gonna be so good. So, my first game, I had to say I have to have two games I'm looking forward to seeing for some reason because I know it has to affect the Chargers in a sense. And so, the first one, of course, is going to be the Denver Broncos facing the New England Patriots. Peyton Manning versus Tom Brady, 14, whatever it is. Either way, I'm looking forward to this game because I want to see what happens to the Broncos in this game. Are they going to be able to win? Are they going to lose? Because whatever happens is going to affect us directly because next week we do face the Broncos. So look forward to that game. I really do. I, I really have the Patriots losing, actually. That's my, my deal. I think the Patriots are going to lose this week. 
and Broncos are gonna ride a nice big high this this coming week, saying that they're gonna they're, they're the best in the West. The NFL an analysis are gonna be like, oh, Broncos are gonna beat the Chargers, and so when Sunday comes, not trying to put all my eggs in the basket, the Chargers will single-handedly beat the Broncos up. But anyways, check out that game. I have the Broncos winning, and of course, this other game I'm actually looking forward to too is gonna be Philadelphia versus uh, the Pittsburgh. Uh, I don't know. That's gonna be a good game. I I definitely think you guys should check it out. I feel uh, Pittsburgh's gonna win. Uh, Michael Vick's been getting beat up a lot this past few weeks. Really bad, actually. Like, well, that's usually you. That's, that's kind of regular. Thinking about it. Anyways, I have Steelers stealing this one from the Eagles. Check out those two games. And the game I really can't wait to see. Just because I know it's going to be a bad game, it's going to be the Baltimore Ravens versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs are in a tailspin right now, to be honest with you. Ravens are flying high, and I expect them to finish off the Chiefs this week. Let's go, Ravens. Sorry, Chiefs. You guys will lose this game. I, I Flacco's going to have a field day. I'm going to call it. Flacco's going to have a field day against you guys. Ravens on top. And those are my two or three weekly picks. Check them out. Tell me if I was right, wrong, or if I have a you guys have a better game or a worse game off. Just let me know. Comments below. And in other news, so in the NFL, again, it's gonna relate with the Chargers directly. I guess you can call her indirectly now. But Denver linebacker DJ Williams is gonna get his suspension increased three more games. If you guys don't know this already, he decided to uh, take some enhancing drugs or something or another, and he decided to give the, uh, the people who check his uh, urine, he gave him non-human urine. So yeah, he's pretty much in the doghouse for a while. They have an article up saying, talking about it and how he's gonna be spending for three more games. Uh, they're really gonna crack down, it seems like, on him. Uh, it really doesn't matter to me if it's directly or indirectly affects the game because he wasn't playing anyways. But for his career, look at Sean Merriman. Ain't been the same. Some of you guys, if you guys like Sean Merriman, I'm sorry. He ain't been the same after he got caught in the cookie jar. His hand in the cookie jar, he got caught. And he ain't been the same since. Which is why he's not leading the, our defense right now. He's probably sitting on the couch eating potato chips thinking about what he could have done anyways that was another news and that's what I really like to read how the Broncos are players are not doing so good I don't know it gives me a warm feeling inside <laughs> and that was other news all right guys this is it this is this is the wrap-up I'm finishing up I hope you guys enjoyed the two articles make sure to go check them out on rocktheboat.com also, check out our Daily Lightning Strikes, where we have some interesting, quick synopsis of certain things that happen, like with Kading uh, being injured. We have a little article about that. He could get, get released, but he could not. He may not get released. Anyways, we end up picking up a, uh, I think a cornerback, Chris Carr. I think I said it right. I think it's Chris Carr. We picked him up this week. Anyway, those are just Daily Lightning Strikes. Just check them out on rocktheboat.com. You guys, I'm looking forward to this game. The Saints, come on. Drew Brees, we know him. I can't wait. I love Drew Brees. I have, I, have a, I have a man crush on him. A bromance. Whatever you want to call it. I like him. I like his jerseys. I still rock the number nine powder blue whenever I can. Especially when I went to the Super Bowl. I was rocking that thing like it was no tomorrow. But anyways, guys. Look forward to this game. Chargers step up. Win the game. You know I do like Drew Brees and Darren Sproles. We still got to win this game. Chargers first, baby. Chargers first. All right, guys, I'll see you at the post this week. Sorry I couldn't do it last week, but, you know, school comes first. Hey, and plus I had to make a bunch of other videos, too. I'm so busy. So, 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 so busy. Anyways, you guys, enjoy the game. I'll see you guys after the game. Peace.